Now, here's something that we need for our homework. If I have two bulbs in series, and I provide a path with nothing but wire from one side of the bulb to the other side of the bulb B by closing that switch, what's going to happen to bulb B and what's going to happen to bulb A? Tell your neighbor real quick. It's just a wire. He's going to do. B's going to basically go out and go around. Reduce yeah. the overall resistance in the circuit so A is going to get better. Okay. Let's see if you're right. Okay. Yep. B goes out and A gets brighter. Now, we always say current favors the path of least resistance rather than chooses, there's one exception. When one of the paths is a perfect wire with zero resistance, all of the current is going to go through the wire. None of it's going to go through the other path. Now, if you, if you buy cheap wires, if you decide to save money and get some really crummy wires, then you're going to get most of the current through the wire and there's still going to be a trickle through the other path. But we're going to always assume perfect wires, uh, and in truth, the wires that we use are pretty close to perfect, and you get pretty much all of the current going through the wire. Now, why did A get brighter? What that? The same current flowing through it as before? No. What that? I reduced the resistance of the circuit by adding a new path. It was a really good path. By adding a path in parallel, I lowered the resistance of the circuit, the current through the battery went up, and all the current through the battery goes through A. A is an indicator. Okay? 